What's going on, Reef Tubers out there? It's Bobby from CushCorals.com here. Hope you're enjoying your day. Hope you're chilling with your tank, chilling with your family. Hope all the grooves are good. Hope all the vibes are positive out there. I am the OG Tank Tank originator, creator of CushCorals.com, owner of Chicagoland Aquariums. Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel. Tank Tank TV is going to be your go-to spot for all things Tank Dank. Do me a favor. If you like what you see here, click that subscribe button. <laughs> Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, do all that stuff. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about Dendro. Who's got the dro? Who got the dro? You got some Dendros? Cause Coral's got Dendros. So dendrophilia is what we're going to talk about today. It's kind of a rare coral. We'll only get it a few times a year. It's uh, considered an NPS coral, non-photosynthetic, meaning it's not taking in sunlight to create any nutrition. A lot of the tips and tricks that we give with the dendros also applies to tabastria, gorgonians, and all other type of NPS corals. So with dendrophilia and other NPS corals, one of the main things I think when you're putting it in a display is placement. The best luck I've ever had in the tank with dendros is in a good spot where every time I drop some frozen food in there, it seems to fall right in front of it and at least gets a piece or two here and there almost every day. You hear all sorts of tricks out there like covering it with a plastic bottle, feeding it in a bowl. There's all sorts of things you could do to feed a dendro, but we prefer actually leaving it in the spot it's gonna be in and feeding it. We feed Fonamarin uh, pellets, LPS pellets for the dendro. We feed uh, all sorts of frozen foods here at the store, basically just mixing it up seeing what it responds to the best. So if you get a dendro or a sun coral that's not necessarily open, you're gonna hear some people say something like, you gotta entice it to open. When we need to build an appetite up, you know what we do. <coughs> Unfortunately, corals don't get the chance to get the munchies the way that I do. Here's a few ways to entice your corals to open up. What I like to do is I'll take a frozen food and I'll thaw it out in some of my tank water. Some of that liquid that's on the top I will just pour that in or squirt that right at a coral. Basically what you want it to do is to smell it. You want it to say, hey, there's food around here, but normally what happens is when you feed, it smells it. By the time it's open, that food's gone, it's in your filter, it's ate up, it's everywhere else, and they don't get any, and then they tend to starve. So you wanna make sure you entice that thing to open. I like to use liquids, I always think that works. Just a little bit, put some in, let it smell it, and then maybe go in and try to feed it. Sometimes you can turn the pumps off, um, I'd, I'd hate for it to be a coral that you'd have to do that to all the time. Uh, it just seems to be a pain in the ass. But you could turn the pumps off and that'll definitely help feed it, especially when it's new. Dendros can go from anywhere from 20 a head to 100 a head. Just depends on the size, where they come from. A lot of times you can buy dendros a few times a year in chunks from a lot of different vendors or they tend to cut them down and grow them out that way. Hopefully those tips work out for you if you got those dendros, those sun corals. Make sure you put in the comments your success stories on dendros. Check out kushcorals.com, we update all the time. We're really big on Facebook. We really like the auction group that we built there, so check that out, I'll link that below. As always, this is Bobby with another video from Tank Dank TV, brought to you by Kush Corals. Make sure you go on our website, all of our shirts ship for free. We really care about what we do. We're trying to grow this brand, so we appreciate you so, so much. If there's anything I can help you out with, make sure you holler at us, the team, Facebook, email, get on the website. We're here, we wanna help you. Woo!